Tesla reported earnings yesterday and the stock fell 10%. Based on the latest share price, the company has a market cap of $834 billion. It's got $23 billion of cash and $7.8 billion of debt, so the enterprise value is $818 billion. Despite the drop in share price, this was another solid quarter for Tesla. The company delivered 466,000 vehicles in Q2, with total revenues increasing 47% against the year-ago period. Adjusted EBITDA increased 23% to $4.7 billion, and net income increased 20% to $2.7 billion. That means trailing 12-month revenue now sits at $94 billion. Net income is $12.2 billion and free cash flow is $6.2 billion. Just 10 years ago, Tesla was doing only $2 billion in revenue and now it's on track to cross $100 billion. Part of the growth this quarter is a result of Tesla cutting prices on its models, but this is still impressive performance, particularly given the difficult market conditions and the sharp increase in interest rates. And there were other bright spots too. Tesla's market share continues to increase and revenues from energy generation and storage increased 74% to $1.5 billion. This is important because if Tesla wants to be known as more than a car company, it needs to generate revenue from other higher margin services. Without higher margin products, it's much harder to justify Tesla's premium valuation. The question is, if this report was so good, then why did the stock fall 10%? The biggest reason is operating margins. Although revenues were up, lower pricing on cars meant that operating margins fell to under 10%, which is a 5% decrease from the year ago period. As a result, Tesla's operating income actually fell 10% from the previous quarter, and net income was 30% below the fourth quarter of 2022. And this also means that Tesla's 10% operating margin in Q2 is no different to other automakers. Lower operating margins are a big problem when the stock trades at such a high multiple of 68 times earnings and 133 times free cash flow. In fact, free cash flow at 1 billion was 70% below the peak in Q3 2022. Lastly, Elon Musk also said on the company earnings call that production in Q3 will be lower than expected due to factory updates and that's going to cause some slowdown in next quarter's numbers. All that said, Tesla is operating in another league from other car companies. Its energy packs and its supercharger network are showing real growth and the Cybertruck, which should come out any day now, looks like it's going to be a simply massive hit. Let's assume Tesla manages to hit analyst targets of $160 billion in revenue in 2025 and then continues to compound revenues at 20% a year. Then let's assume the company is able to operate at a 15% net income margin in 10 years time. That means Tesla would be generating $688 billion in revenue in 10 years time and $103 billion in net income. And a 25 times multiple would put the valuation at around $2.6 trillion dollars and that works out to an investment return of around 12% per year. But it should be noted that this is quite an optimistic forecast. It relies on the company compounding revenues over 20% for a decade, a 5% increase in the net income margin, and an earnings multiple higher than other car companies. In other words, Tesla is an incredible business, but the valuation at this point leaves very little room for error. For all these reasons, I currently give the stock a neutral rating, but these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I do own some shares in Tesla. For more detailed investing ideas, make sure to visit our website, overlookedalpha.com.